Lloyd's banking That's boss, right. Antonio Hoto Osorio, returns to work after extreme fatigue forced him to take a two-month leave of absence. The Portuguese-born banker was in the midst of implementing his strategic vision for the taxpayer-backed bank last September when he began having trouble sleeping. The 47-year-old spent a week in the Priory Clinic after his wife Anna became increasingly worried about his state of health and said he was delighted to now be back at work. Thank you very much. I'm still to be back. Thank you. I'm looking forward to working with my colleagues to drive the business forward. And I'll see you soon. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry I was a bit late. Thank you very much. Lloyd saw its shares slump when Mr. Horto Osorio stepped down, amid fears his departure could turn permanent and derail progress made with reviving the bank. Lloyd's, which is 40.2% state owned, said it completed a rigorous process, including independent medical advice, before deciding its chief executive was fit to return. The bank has agreed to an initiative from Mr Horto Osorio which will reduce his direct reporting lines and strengthen the roles of its senior management team.